15 August 2018. It was an Independence Day like never before. The rains continued to lash throughout that day. The night passed. The morning light came to reveal the River Chalakudi had launched a brutal invasion of the campus. The water levels rose to completely submerge the ground floor. Trees fell. The pillars of our residential building was cracked its foundation. The television and audio recording studios got flooded. The damage was extensive. We have been going through very trying times. I was away on a retreat mission when Divine was flooded. When I came back, what I had heard had not prepared me for what I saw. Much of what we had built up over the last 28 years is destroyed by the fury of the waters. The worst hit was the Divine Care Center for the mentally challenged. Here two died of starvation. The water rose here to the level of two stories. This place houses 450 mentally challenged persons. It is here that the Divine Bakery is situated. This bakery worth 75 lakhs is completely destroyed. And from here, bread was supplied for the thousands at Divine. The Divine Dairy Farm has a very special place in the Ministry of Divine. It is from here that Divine received the milk and the meat to provide for all the retreatants and the 3,000 residents of the Divine Retreat Center. Today, with the floods, the Divine Dairy Farm on the banks of the Chalakudi River was completely overwhelmed by the waters and most of the animals have been killed. Divine Retreat Center has been carefully built up over 28 years brick by brick. The press has lost machinery worth 10 crores. There were 80,000 Bibles in English and other languages printed and kept for delivery. All these are lost irretrievably in the waters. The Divine Press has been doing incredible work in providing subsidized Bibles and spreading the Word of God. Divine Retreat Center has one more charitable home, the Maria Shanti Bhavan, that houses 43 elderly women abandoned by their families and who are now part of the Divine Family. This entire building experienced a flooding. They prayed continually. Though they lost all their belongings, God protected every one of their lives. I'm standing at the entrance of the English retreat hall. Millions have walked in here, burdened, broken, and the Lord, according to His promise, has given them rest and comfort.
as I pray over what is happening to us now, I'm convinced this experience is central to our proclamation. While the rest of the world has interpreted suffering as a curse, we have always proclaimed Christ crucified as the source of salvation. Suffering is not a curse, but a call to be sharing in the cross of Christ. Friends, I want you to know this. Your suffering is precious. It is the sign of God's favor. Now the doors of the retreat center are closed, but every day through our suffering, we are witnessing to Christ crucified. Scripture says that the Lord is waiting to show favor to you in your suffering. This is the promise we are holding on to. And we know the Lord will fulfill His promise. It is He who built this center and He will rebuild it. I want to thank you for your prayers and your presence with us. It means very much for us. These gates will be open in a few weeks and I look forward to receiving you here.